GG3 is an abs workout with three main goals. One, advanced core training. Two, bulletproof the back. And three, build stamina and endurance. The toes elevated one leg hip thrust targets the quads and the glutes, and it also stretches the hips. Doing that on a slant board creates a unique pushback angle where it can really drive through the toes to maximize quad and glute activation. It also increases the range of motion. Exhale up through the mouth. Inhale down through the nose. The one arm back to belly is one of my favorite drills to improve rotation in the hips and the upper back or thoracic spine. Start in a fetal position with a light dumbbell, and then you're gonna roll to your back as a setting up for a get up. Now we'll start by just kind of translating forward into this kind of sideline position and kind of just get yourself nice and organized. You can rest the head on the biceps and have the eyes up at the bell. Now just do some elongated breathing, inhale through the nose, exhale through the mouth. Once that feels good, I want you to kind of spread those hips into the ground. I want you to get the dick on the floor, okay? And then from there, just slowly, I can even add some motion to the legs, kind of stretch the quads and hips, but keep trying to get those hips pinned down to the ground. And once the timer goes up, I'll just reverse the movement, switch sides and repeat. The one arm overhead sit up trains trunk and hip flexion. I want you to start in the fetal position and either go with your body weight or a super light dumbbell, spread your feet into a V shape and focus on driving the heels underground to get glute activation and kind of lock in your positioning. I want that lower back flat to the floor. You'll start with a deep inhale into the belly to stabilize the spine. Exhale up, focus on going upwards instead of forwards and then inhale through the nose into the belly going down slow. And repeat for time. The one leg sliding push-up climber trains your hip flexors and the entire front side of your body. The big focus here is I want you to exhale through the mouth while flexing the hip without rounding the low back. Inhale through the nose while extending the leg back. Then we'll add a push-up, inhale down, exhale up. The one leg sliding leg curl is the ultimate hamstring exercise because it trains both functions of the hammies, which is hip extension and knee flexion. Now, you'll start this exercise with just eccentric only, meaning I'll be here, go slow out, keeping the hips extended the whole way, and then once it's fully extended, set the hips down, and then cheat back and repeat. Otherwise, we're gonna be going full range of motion, inhale out through the nose, exhale back through the mouth. Get ready for the burn. The one arm sliding push-up is a self-assisted single arm push-up and the ultimate core stability exercise. I want you to inhale through the nose going down, exhale through the mouth going up. If it's too hard, we can modify with the center of only reps where I go down slow, inhaling, come to the chest, cheat back up from the knees and repeat, or I can just do it from the knees. This is the best new hip mobility exercise. You're gonna love this. Really improving hip flexion extension and walking, running, overall gait mechanics. Now start with more of the mobility version. We use both hands to self assist. Inhale down to really drive that heel up to the sky. Elevating the toes on the slant board increases the stretch on the ankle and the hip. And then I like to add a little knee lift to get the hip flexors and get that back leg into full extension, especially stretching the ankle right there as if you're running as a trail leg. Now, once that feels good with body weight, we'll move to using a light dumbbell. Think of this as loaded mobility. So start with a 10 to 25 pound bell, hold them the opposite hand to the support leg, have a hand ready to self assist on a pole, stick or wall, and then make sure we pack that shoulder down, keep it tight so the rear delts engaged, and exhale up and pull through. The med ball split shot crushes your core, knee and hip stabilizers. The big focus here is isodynamic work, meaning I'm isometrically holding a split stance and my lower body is fighting to keep the knee balanced over the ankle as I'm adding motion dynamic through the upper body, diagonally across. I want to exhale through the mouth going up, inhale through the nose going down and make it harder by sinking lower, increasing the range of motion. Start light 
with a five to 10 pound med ball and go up from there. I want you to have a great workout because you're done in 20 minutes and make your post-workout report in the comment section below. And most importantly, get ready for one hell of a year here at Gorilla Corn Gains in 2023. Carrot Pie! Halfway. Rest. Go. Halfway. Rest. Go. Halfway. Rest. Go. Halfway. Rest. 
Halfway. 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 Halfway.
rest. Go. Halfway. Rest. Go. Halfway. Rest. Go. Halfway. Go. Halfway.
rest. Go. Halfway. Rest. Go. Halfway. Rest. Go. Halfway. Rest. Go. Halfway.
rest.